the research that we're doing addresses the most common cancer in men. Uh, and uh, I'm referring to prostate cancer. And currently, we, we don't diagnose it very well. Uh, we diagnose cancers that don't matter, and we miss cancers that do. Currently, uh, every man having treatment for prostate cancer has the same treatment, irrespective of the burden of cancer, in other words, how much cancer is there, uh, irrespective of the location of cancer, where it is, irrespective of the number of cancers, and also irrespective of the grade of cancer. So typically treatments include surgery or radiotherapy, and, and depending on all those things, everybody gets the same. So we, we give radiation over six or seven weeks to the prostate, or we remove it. What we want to do is stratify men in terms of risk and derive things like volume and location so that we can not treat some men, treat some men just by the cancer, and maybe some men with very aggressive disease offer them what we call multi-modality therapy, which is a layered form of treatment. We've been funded by the MRC. Uh, the project is called Reimagine. Uh, it's called Reimagine because we're using imaging uh, in it in the form of MRI. Uh, and we want to come up with a new way of diagnosing prostate cancer and a new way of assessing risk. Ideally, um, we will use imaging, that's what I think we're going to use, but we'll probably combine that with a test. So the imaging will tell us where, where the cancer is and how big it is, but we'll, we'll use a test, of, I mean, it might be a urine test or it might be a blood test, that will actually look at the cells or the DNA within the cells. And so we'll have the imaging and then we'll have all the information on the nature of the cancer from that simple test. Now currently, many of the companies that we're working with are trying to develop those tests and they'll be able to develop those tests on the back of the work that we're doing within Reimagine. So patients are hugely important in Reimagine. The study was kind of conceived and designed with input from both patients and their relatives and the public, uh, and we're going to engage them throughout the process. Many of the things we're going to do are very novel, very disruptive, uh, have ethical dimensions, and the patient groups that we're working with are going to help us resolve those as the study progresses.